Normally I don't share the locations of my adventures. I like to keep the places I go remote and lonely. But today I just can't help but share the location of a place that I've just fallen in love with. This place is called the Tavaputs Ranch. Located high on the Tavaputs Plateau, Tavaputs is a native word for sunrise, and the sunrises are spectacular, but that's not what makes this such an amazing place. This is one of the most remote and rugged places on the, in the whole state of Utah that you can still reach by vehicle. That's where we're headed, top of those mountains, right up there. The ranch was first founded by Jim McPherson in 1889 in the Desolation Canyon of the Green River. McPherson had read a journal account of Powell from a few years earlier, and in that journal, to paraphrase, was something along the lines of, this would be a fantastic place for a ranch, if you're tough enough. He decided he was, and 120 years later, this ranch is still in full swing. This ranch has always been a wild and lonely place. In its early days, it was frequented by the likes of Butch Cassidy and other well-known outlaws, and the posses that were chasing them. It takes a different type of person to be able to survive on the ragged edge of civilization, and today is no different. The ranch is located about halfway between Price and Green River. That's a pretty desolate section of the country if you've ever been there, at about 10,000 feet. Today the ranch is run by Butch. He's about as much of a cowboy as you would ever hope to meet. And Jeannie Jensen. She'll never let you go home hungry. They let a few special guests each year come and partake of what to them is just normal everyday life, but to the rest of us is truly amazing. This ranch consists of about 33,000 acres and sits on top of the Tavaputs Plateau. The top of the mesa is truly amazing. Great forage for their animals and wonderful views. Each side of the mesa drops down in spectacular fashion. The canyon the ranch house sits on drops over 5,000 feet into the Green River. That's steeper than the Grand Canyon, just to put things in perspective. As you can imagine, the views are absolutely spectacular. The ranch house is about as rustic and authentic western as you could ever hope to find. There was no shortage of wonderful video shots to be taken here. The accommodations are great, but to be honest with you, I'd have no problem sleeping in a tent if I could spend a few more days here. They run about 800 head of cattle. That keeps them plenty busy. As you might imagine, the wild, wild west is alive and well here. Some days are wilder than others, 
but every day is an adventure at the Tavaputs Ranch. Horses aren't just for show here on the Tavaput Ranch. A lot of times it's the only way to get the things that need doing done. No way you could do it on foot or with a four-wheeler. Today's fire was getting some of the neighbor's cows back where they belonged. But honestly, this is what both the cowboys and the horses live for. Besides ranching, which they do really, really well. They have a Leopold Award for conservation to prove it. You should look into that. It's no small accomplishment. Another big thing that the ranch has to offer is phenomenal big game animals. The elk and deer here are truly world class. In addition to big game animals, the wildlife in general here is unsurpassed. I've spent a lot of my time hiking sagebrush flats and I've never seen this many sage grouse in one group. They seem to be everywhere. That's good news for sage grouse in Utah. We sat and watched these sage hens for about 10 minutes. It was thoroughly enjoyable. They didn't even seem to care that we were there. Predators aren't uncommon here either. You'll see plenty of bear sign, as well as an occasional bear. And although you don't see them, there's no shortage of cougars. On this particular morning, the winds were just right. We got within about 150 feet of this group of raghorns. Just sat for a while and watched them feed. Eventually they figured out we were here and they headed off to parts unknown. This early morning shot does a great job of summarizing the Tavaputs Ranch. Cattle on the left, sage hen in the middle, deer to the right, all in one place. Perhaps the only thing that summarizes it better is Butch's own words.
No trip to the Tavaputs Ranch would be complete without dropping down canyon into Range Creek. And you could have no better tour guide than Jeannie and her family. It was Jeannie's parents and grandparents who protected this vast treasure trove of Fremont Indian ruins and artifacts from pillaging. Throughout much of Utah, the rock art's been vandalized and the ruins destroyed. But here, everything is remarkably preserved. These pictures don't do it justice at all. You'll have to arrange for your own trip. You won't regret it. The Tavaputs Ranch is a truly remarkable place, and chances are, if you ever head that way, you might run into me. I've got a lot of exploring left to do.